Welcome back to A Closer Look. I'm your host, Linda Fontaine. My guest this hour is Margaret Douthit. She is owner and broker for Douthit Insurance in downtown Kingsport. Welcome to the show, Margaret. Oh, thanks. Thanks so much for having me. I appreciate that. Oh, well, we appreciate you being here. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about insurance. It's on a lot of people's minds right now with the COVID and everything going on. It's kind of People are uncertain about what is covered, what isn't, and I know a lot of people are on Medicaid and Medicare. Talk to me a little bit about that. So individuals that are on Medicare and Medicaid, um, we are still open and uh, you'll find most brokers are still trying to navigate the best way to help someone um, either learn about what's coming up for them or learn about what they need to enroll in now. Um, and it, there's been a little bit of a shift because some people are retiring now that weren't expecting to. Maybe they were planning to work a little bit longer, but due to different businesses furloughing or closing, um, people are going ahead and stepping into retirement and going ahead and starting their Medicare sooner than they were expecting to do that. Um, but Medicare and Medicaid program, as far as the benefits haven't changed, but we're still able to help people navigate which policy is the right policy for them. Um, There's so many different options out there and it can become very overwhelming for individuals. The best way to meet, you know, is either in person if that's available over the phone or virtually where we've actually kind of extended the way that we do business some and thankful that we have that opportunity. And everybody's comfort level is different and their ability to follow um, you know what we're trying to explain mm -hmm. and teach um, they all learn differently so mm -hmm. we try to just implement the best opportunity for that people are still turning 65 they're still retiring so people are still needing to enroll in Medicare it's just finding the proper way to help them navigate this now and uh, so definitely understand um, the different options. You know, you have your original Medicare and then you have supplemental options. You mm -hmm. have Medicare Advantage plan options. You have Part D options. Mm. And so it's just, it can become a little overwhelming for people. So we just try to walk through what's best for you. What does this look like? How do you want your insurance? With COVID again, rather than sitting down meeting face to face sometimes, then we implement phone conversations or virtual conversations and do mailing and emailing. So we want everyone to be comfortable in that setting. Okay, so talk to me a little bit about scammers. I know that's a concern with everybody and I know in particular the elderly. Yes, scamming has really ramped up. Um, you know, they had the opportunity just for scamming for the stimulus checks, but also um, so many times people are receiving phone calls from individuals implying that um, you can make a change, that you didn't know about Medicare changes, that, that you know, things have changed with Medicare now. And uh, oftentimes people will divulge more information than they should, mm -hmm. um, which just allows this person to continue on and gather more information from you. Um, just understand that Medicare One won't call you unless you have called them and they are returning a phone call. So Social Security isn't going to call you unless, again, you've called them and they're returning a phone call. They always communicate with you by mail. Okay. And insurance companies, yes, they do reach out, but they're not going to ask for private information or personal information. Mm -hmm. um, so again, if there's any changes, it is best to reach out to your broker to ask, you know, what do I need to know? What have I heard? And that's why, again, a broker is so important. You I was really gonna mention to, that. Mm -hmm, yeah, not only to help you navigate what policies mm -hmm. are best and then each year as you're looking and shopping, but also to understand, you know, when you are receiving these phone calls, is this legitimate? What do I need to do? I'm gonna work through you to help, you know, find any changes that might be needed and not divulge information that puts you vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Well, that leads me to the question regarding brokers. So for people that may not know, how much does it cost to have a broker to help you navigate through all the questions and paperwork with Medicaid and Medicare? That's a wonderful question. So, you know, just choosing an individual broker to work with doesn't cost you a penny. You know, the broker is there to service you. The insurance carrier that you enroll in, they will actually pay that broker their commission to enroll you in a policy. Excellent. And there's never a fee to call and ask questions or to um, just come in and sit down and go over your policy or have that conversation on the phone. That's what a broker should be doing for you. 
Um, you know, uh, you know, we love to help our clients assist them throughout the year, whether it's claims, you know, questions, benefit questions, um, just questions in general about what should I be looking for and uh, how's my medications covered? Do my doctors take this? So we love to do that. That's an excellent resource that you have. Now, how can people get a hold of you if they have questions? Because you are so easy to talk to. I've talked to you in the past regarding insurance and different mm -hmm. things, and you're such an informative person. How can people get a hold of you, Margaret? So they can certainly call us at our um, local office here in Kingsport. Um, I believe my phone number's there. And then you also can email, or you can go out to our web or Facebook. We have a Douthat Insurance Facebook. We have a web page as well, so any of those opportunities. And we're open, so you can certainly come by right now because of COVID. Of course, we've had to adjust our schedule like so many others, and, and so the door to the office is locked just so that it tries to reinforce, you know, wearing a mask and being protected because we wanna protect you. Excellent, so give me your website again, what is it? That is Douthat Insurance, so www.douthatinsurance. Douthat, D-O-U-T-H-A-T. Yes. Douthatinsurance.com. Mm -hmm. And phone number is 423-765-9084. And the reason I'd like to repeat these is we are on TV, but we also air on the radio. So people that can't see our screen, we need to let them know what the number is. Okay, thank so, you. So Douthat Insurance, 765-9084 or douthatinsurance.com, and you're located in downtown Kingsport on Broad Street. What is that address? That is 220 Broad Street, and we are the first office to the left when you come in, no stairs or anything. And you're the building with all the beautiful potted plants outside. Yes, yes, lots of beautiful roses blooming right now. Now, I wanna mention Medicaid and Medicare, so you can only enroll once a year for that, is that right? So there, there is an annual election period that is October the 15th through okay. December the 7th for those individuals on Medicare. And I do want to really stress that if you have Medicare and Medicaid, then the government does afford you some opportunities to change throughout the year. So it's important to know when those times are, how often you can. Also, because of so many things like COVID right now, tornadoes, just weather hazards, et cetera, the government has extended some opportunities for you to make changes. And again, please reach out uh, to us, to your broker if you have one. Uh, we'd be delighted to be your broker if you don't, but reach out and find out if you have the opportunity. If you're not happy with your plan and you want to know uh, can you change and when you can change, we'll be happy to address that. But typically, you have that one chance a year, um, October 15th through December the 7th, and your policy change will go into effect January 1. All right. Can you expand and tell me a little bit about 10 care? Mm -hmm. and the, the pros and cons regarding TenCare and how that works. So we, we do not deal specifically with TenCare by itself. Right. We uh, manage that with our Medicare products. There are products out there. Um, but certainly if you're not on Medicare, you can apply for TenCare. The way to do that is through the healthcare.gov please don't go to any other site other than healthcare.gov. And you would do the application to see if you qualify for that 10 care program. Um, 10 care, you know, has different companies that manage that. Um, there's United Healthcare that has a 10 care product, Blue Cross and Amerigroup. So it's just a dependence upon which company will be managing your 10 care benefits. If you're on Medicare and Medicaid, you could have a 10 care company managing that for you, or you could actually have what's called QMB with a pink paper card that's mailed out to you. So we do try to help those clients that are on Medicare and Medicaid, whether it be through QMB or 10 care. Um, there's a lot of extra benefits that you can receive. Um, tons of dental, eyewear, um, over-the-counter items that you can get. Those items wouldn't cost you anything, but it's knowing when you can enroll and um, the companies that would be best to serve you in that. Okay, and so TenCare is one of those that it's also just a certain time when you can enroll. So TenCare, 
Typically, yes, there's only certain times you can enroll, uh, especially if you're doing that on the healthcare.gov website. But I would encourage anyone that thinks that they could be eligible to go ahead and go out and do the application and see if they qualify and see if they have a special election. And if you have Medicare and you're applying for that, um, there is a different pathway to apply and we'd be certainly happy to help you navigate through some of that. Okay. And how soon after you turn 65 do you apply for Medicare? So applying for Medicare would be automatic for an individual if they're already enrolled in Social Security. However, if you're not already enrolled, and many are waiting because the full retirement benefits on the Social Security check has extended now. Most people are getting that at 66 or later. Mm. So some are not already enrolled in their Social Security earnings. And if not, you can apply for your Medicare Part A and Part B three months prior to your 65th birthday. So if your birthday is in June, June the 15th, you can go ahead and apply now. And you can do that online, or if the Social Security office is open, you can make a visit to them as well. Okay, very good. Now tell me, what's a little different, what's the difference between 10 care and the Affordable Care Act or? So the Affordable yeah. Care, or some people will call that ACA, some people will call it Obamacare, some people yes. will call it Marketplace. So there's just a lot of different lingo. But the difference between 10 care is that is for individuals with a lower income bracket mm -hmm. and um, you are receiving your benefits uh, without any cost to you. Okay. Well, very good. Thank yes. you, Margaret, so much yes. for being here today. I appreciate you the opportunity. You are a font of information. Oh, we really appreciate thank it. Thank you. All right. And stay safe and healthy, and yes. we appreciate being here. And we'll see you this time next week. Thank you for joining us. Have a great week.